We present an augmented reality prototype for assisting with procedural tasks, as exemplified in the installation of this cylindrical shaped combustion chamber onto an aircraft engine. Procedural tasks involve people performing established sequences of activities while interacting with objects in the physical environment to accomplish specific goals. We concentrate on providing assistance in the psychomotor phase of these tasks, which is characterized by physical activity by the user that may alter the environment, such as orienting this aircraft combustion chamber so it's ready to be installed on the engine. We designed an experiment that compared the performance of participants using both our prototype and a baseline condition reflecting an enhanced form of the kind of computer-based documentation currently used in practice. Our evaluation showed that participants using our prototype were able to complete psychomotor activities in 53% of the time as that achieved when using the enhanced baseline, which was a significant speedup. Moreover, our prototype supported significantly greater accuracy. To facilitate this comparison, we selected a challenging task from a realistic maintenance and repair domain. This task consists of assembling a combustion chamber from an aircraft engine, which entails aligning a lower combustion chamber section, or CAN, with an upper combustion chamber section, or cone. Following alignment, pins are inserted to fix the assembly. Our user study presented participants with randomized iterations of this task in a workbench setting involving combinations of cans and cones. Each trial in the study consists of locating a can in one of six bins on the workbench. The user is then instructed to move the can to a turntable that serves as the assembly work area. This process is then repeated for locating a cone and placing it on top of the can. At this point, the user is instructed to align the cone in a particular orientation relative to the can, matching two holes labeled with letters on the cone to two holes labeled with numbers on the can. The user must then insert two pins, one in each of the pairs of matched holes. Following alignment and pinning, the user is instructed to place the completed assembly in one of the bins on the workbench. Our AR prototype offers several forms of assistance for this task. During the locate and move steps, our prototype presents 3D arrows to direct attention, 3D labels on task objects, highlighting effects to further direct attention, and motion paths to direct movement. During the alignment and pinning step, our prototype transitions into providing assistance for the psychomotor phase of the assembly. Here, a tracked 3D arrow displays the shortest rotational distance needed to rotate the cone to the target alignment. Dynamically tracked and positioned billboarded labels clearly indicate the attachment and pinning points during rotation. Color-coded dynamic highlights indicate the holes or attachment points for ease of pinning. As the cone and can are brought into alignment, these highlights merge to form a single-tracked highlight over each labeled hole. As our baseline, we constructed an enhanced form of the interactive computer-based documentation currently used in practice. The baseline creates static 3D images that combine the overlaid material used in our see-through AR system with 3D models of the workbench, cone, can, and pens presented on a large opaque LCD comfortably positioned near the work area. Fixed perspective views of each step are drawn from the point of view where the user stands during the experiment. For the assembly and pinning step, we displayed multiple views of the cone and can around the attachment points to aid in task performance. The results of our study showed that the mean time to complete the aligning and pinning task was significantly lower when using our AR prototype, averaging 24 seconds versus 45 seconds when using the enhanced baseline. Moreover, participants were significantly more accurate when using the AR prototype. Finally, 20 out of 22 participants preferred our AR prototype over the enhanced baseline, and 19 out of 22 participants ranked our AR prototype as more intuitive.